Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for this cartooning lesson. Today I will teach you how to draw a spring bunny. Again, all you need really for this lesson is a piece of paper and a pencil, but if you have any other fancier drawing materials such as Sharpies or design markers, go ahead and use those. But use that later because I always recommend using a pencil first because we all make mistakes and if we make mistakes, you can use an eraser. Markers, you can't really do anything with those mistakes. So here we go. With all my drawings, I like to break it down into basic shapes. So for a bunny rabbit, circle for the head, um, circle for a body, oval, not a circle. I'm thinking I'm gonna go wider here. It's an upright bunny, kind of like Bugs Bunny. No, I don't like that. Then arms. Then remember with my, with my first lesson, the one with Baby Yoda, I don't usually do fingers at first. I mean, I could go right ahead, but you know, just to make it easier, mittens. Ears. Those are my dogs. Don't mind them. They're saying they love what I'm doing right now. Either that or they're barking at people walking by the house. Okay, so there's the basics. Then, remember, I always place this kind of cross to show where the eyes, nose, mouth are going to be, roughly. It doesn't exactly have to be there, but it's a good spot, spot for those face details. Okay. Semicircles. With the bunny, you kind of do this wide W, right? And go down, like that. Now, the bunny looks kind of creepy if I don't put the pupils in, so I'm gonna put the pupils in real quick. It's a lot of ovals. I'm just gonna fill this in, even though I'm gonna do it with pen later. <clears throat> the brows. Clean it up a little bit. Maybe give him two big front teeth. Right? Place the fingers where the mitten is. Now, for this, you can tell I was planning this in my mind earlier. What should the bunny have? It's pretty obvious, right? A carrot. So I'll start with a basic cone, long cone. Now a carrot's bumpy. No wonder he's so happy, right? That's a nice looking carrot. I'm not worried about what's overlapping right now. I mean, I can fix that up. I mean, I'm fixing it up now, but I can fix it up when I ink it. Inking meaning tracing over the pencil lines. 
ね。Put some a little bit of the ear details there. Whiskers. Now that I look at it, see, I didn't really, I knew I was doing a bunny rabbit, but I didn't really know exactly what it was gonna look like at the end. It really looks like a classic version of Bugs. If you've seen the older Looney Tune cartoons, you'll see what I mean. All right, I think I'm done with the pencil drawing. And there's my pencil drawing of a spring bunny. All right, I'm gonna take this, I'll take, I'll have time-lapse take this over. So as you know, as you're drawing, as you're inking, as you're coloring, you can always pause the video. Now that I finished inking, I always like looking at it and just cleaning it up a little bit. So filling it, filling in the eyes with the pen with a little bit more black. Another thing about drawing cartoons, think about your line quality. When I say line quality, are there certain parts where the line should be thicker? And are there certain parts where you think the line should be thinner? I know when you just have one Sharpie, you have no choice but to have every line be the same thickness. But if you have different pens, take advantage of that. I like using pencil sometimes. And then, I don't know what that line is, so I'll try, try to white it out. Yeah. That's as good as it gets right there. Add some shading to a couple spots before I start coloring. finished inking and coloring I go back just do a couple finishing touches if I had a choice I could work on this for a long time but in general when I look at the whole picture I'm pretty happy with it then once all the shading is done what do we need to do grab a marker pen Sign it in the corner, and there you have it. There is my spring bunny. Hey, thanks for watching, and hope to see you guys again soon. Remember, you can leave requests on the comments section, or contact me through Twitter at Mr. Bologna, or to my students, you can comment and reply to me on the Seesaw app. All right, catch you all later. Bye.